Hulk in the Comic Station, issue number 83 for July 30, 2014. We're coming off the hype of the second year of the Comic Con. Con. And there will be a video just doing a general news wrap up of the whole Comic Con following this one, but this is our normal weekly videos. This one's just talking about the comics, that sort of thing. Uh, what is out this week? Yeah. So we're going to start gonna off. Start us, we've got Wool from Cryptozoic Comics. Um, I'm not really sure why it's called Wool. There's no real wool in it. You're not following sheep. There's no clothing involved. It could be a play on the people or sheep. Or, or there's wool over the wool eyes. Yeah, it, something that will be clever like five issues in. Uh, the basic setup is that it's some kind of apocalypse. Not the fun Mad Max Fury Road kind. Just, you know, an apocalypse. And there are a bunch of people inside of a big silo that goes down several levels. Split up like in Snowpiercer. And the, apparently the outside world may or may not be still completely destroyed. That's the big conspiracy of the book. You're not sure what's out there. And sort of combination of that mystery and the death of the law enforcement sheriff inside the silo that drives the comic, and looking for a new sheriff to replace him. And even the one view you do get of the outside, yeah. you're not quite sure is that reality or is that them messing with the television? Yeah, which they like, said that they can do. Or is it like just hallucinations? There's a lot of questions that like to be answered in it. It's the artwork is pretty decent. It is yeah. a little darker and like I like the coloring as it works to show the different levels have a unique color like. The IT level is very weirdly pink, bluish, almost, yeah. pinkish, and as opposed to the very de deep down levels, which are sort of a dark green and much more shrouded. Mm -hmm. Whereas the upper world is all in shades of red. But I'd say the biggest problem with it overall is that it feels a little generic. We've seen a lot of apocalypse stories before this one. It is a. Uh, it's only one of six. So, so yeah, you mean. I mean, it's usually on these short stories that can get a tighter story, so maybe we'll see around issue three or four it starts to develop into yeah. something unique. At this point, like I you said, think, it's yeah. Snowpiercer with yeah. the silo. I don't think that you'd end up like missing anything if you just waited for the trade on this one to see if it got better. Yep. And one of my favorites on my pull list is Red Sonia, and this is Red Sonia number zero from Dynamite. And as much as I love Red Sonia and Number Zero is supposed to either expand upon the character or give a pre-story, this one really just came off more as a one-shot. Yeah. Uh, you're not missing anything if you are a fan of Red Sonia and you miss this, don't worry about it. It's it's a one-shot in a single issue. I, I like the one-shots that yeah. tell more of a story, but this one doesn't even have her for the whole thing. Yeah, she's, she's you know, about like, I'd say a third of the way or so, maybe uh, a little more. Yeah, I mean, there's a decent amount of her at the same time, but it's, mm -hmm. but again, there's no real story progression, there's no character progression. It's a. I would say that the story that's being told isn't really Red Sonya's own story. No, it's not. Which I found a bit of a letdown. And the last one we have for the week is Deep Gravity Number 1 from Dark Horse. It's okay, really yeah. okay. It's sort okay of like, is the best way to yeah, describe it. It's sort of like it's like Avatar, but with less of the thrilling adventure and more boring relationship stuff. If you've ever seen a '90s disaster movie where two divorced people are forced to reconcile their differences in the face of a massive disaster, you've read this comic. Only those were more ambitious, as this has a real bad misuse of negative space. Despite being set on an alien planet, you rarely ever see what it looks like. Just gradient backgrounds, and when you do see it, all the weird plants just look like trees. There may be two interesting monsters in it. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, there were a lot of other comics out this week. But and there were good comics out this week. And But they are up on FrontTowardsGamer.com as reviews. So, I mean, right off the bat, uh, Grim Fairy Tales had Grim Fairy Tales of Terror, which I like that they're going back to the horror roots yep. in this. And Grim I reviewed Fairy that, Tales you can find it up Wonderland. There. Yeah, and that one just went up today, the Wonderland one. So that's a really, it's a really interesting yeah. clash em up, and I recommend you read the review because I think I made some good jokes in there. <laughs> you also saw Low Number One from Image Comics by uh, famed art author Rick Remender, who mm -hmm. you know is the guy behind Sam Wilson becoming Captain America. And you still have my reviews of The Strain going up, with Episode Three going up on Monday. So keep up on that. Um, I'm gonna go through the whole series unless people stop reading the articles. So if you hate them, don't read them. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. If you keep reading, we'll keep writing. But yeah, So there were more comics out this week, but we already had the reviews. I'll go check out the reviews on FrontwardGamer.com. And as I mentioned in the uh, beginning of this video, we are going to have a San Diego Comic-Con news wrap-up coming, uh, hopefully, uh, on Wednesday. All uh, the major news about like movies and upcoming comics and shows and all the stuff related to the nerdy things that we all love. Yeah, so stay tuned and... 
regular comic station will be coming back to you next week. So and hopefully we maybe have a few more new issues next week. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. So thank you, and we will see you next week.